In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down why the tight offset tight end is really equipped to attack the current defensive meta, as well as be able to beat man-to-man -man and zone defenses. Now, if you're new to the channel and you wanna learn more about the nickel, or I'm sorry, the, the tight offset tight end, I would really encourage you to join my Patreon. That's where you can get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks. And we're gonna be releasing a brand new gun tight, def or a gun tight offset tight end offensive ebook in the coming weeks so if you want or uh, this weekend so if you want to get access to that i'm going to put a link to that in the description uh, of this video i think that the tight offset tight end and specifically the new orleans playbook um is equipped to handle a lot of what is going on uh in the current defensive meta now uh, that being said you're going to break down kind of a simple play uh for you guys today something that i kind of came across uh, that I actually thought was really interesting uh the beauty of the tight offset tight end uh and the beauty of just the new orleans playbook in general is the is the fact that it has a lot of different types of wheel routes unbumpable routes quick passing all those things are equipped uh within this and so i'm going to be showing you one of my favorite plays uh, Saints spot shake and um, what you want to do is on the right side you can do whatever you want to do um, you can do whatever you want to do with this play on the right side of the field on the left side of the field though I want to show you this little interaction so I'm going to audible over here to a man blitz out of Mike Blitz Zero just to get a little better alignment for the defense and what you're going to see here is that this um, this wheel route this wheel route to um, the triangle receiver is really really effective so again just ignore that linebacker as he went out to the gatorade cooler but what you'll see here is this little streak is going to create kind of a, a jam animation and you'll see here that you can just pass this outside and you can get this little animation where you're going to get about a quick three four yards now again what's interesting is if i'm in this formation and i'm trying to run man to man you're going to see it's even more exaggerated because i have more leverage to the outside Tight offset formations, they really mess with the alignment of a, def of a defense specifically. So let's say they audible again down. I want to show you a little bit better alignment. And that's what you're going to see out of 3-3 three, 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 three Cub. Um, but what you're going to see here, just pass like that outside as soon as you see that animation. And a lot of times you're going to get that little quick pass that's going to be able to guarantee uh, separation. You can also freeform this, by the way, uh, which I'll show you right here. So I'm going to freeform that outside. I don't know why he's not able to catch it, but you see, you see that, um, again, just the quick read that this allows. Now, we're going to get into some other stuff here in just a second, but I want to show it one more time. Uh, and again, just showing the, the, the quick read that this wheel, and you can wait a second if you want to as well. So you can wait on it, get it out there, you get that free form, and you see we're able to get about quick five, six, seven, eight yards uh, from this. So then if you pair that with, let's say, just a simple slant of the tight end, um, what you're going to see from a meta perspective is this little spot shake route is kind of one of the best checked out routes that you're going to find in Madden 23 because it's it literally will come to a stop and then it will basically continue running. So you see here, he'll pull the zone out of the way and then I can just check it down right there for a simple little gain. Uh, so as you can see here, just very simple uh, little play. Uh, the other thing I want to show you is when they have the nickel corner to the uh, to this left side, now they're misaligned with the running back. And so you'll see here that this little quick throw to the running back becomes one of the better quick throws in the game to be able to attack any man blitz. So if they're blitzing you, you basically have really quick reads on both sides of the field uh, that are going to be able to take advantage of the defense. So again, here I'm going to audible over to Mike Blitz Zero. All we're doing here in this example is slanting the tight end. If you want to put him on a post, you could certainly do something like that. But I do like the slant. Anyways, what you're going to see here, again, they don't switch off. Sometimes in, in these plays, this guy would switch. But from what I have found, especially when they're blitzing you, he's not going to really switch. Now, if I go to nickel over, you're going to see, again, that nickel corner will move. Nickel over has kind of got some interesting principles within its main coverage. But what you'll see here is they do switch, and I'm still able to throw these quick flats on both sides of the field. Now, another thing I wanted to jump into real quickly with you is zone coverage. So let's say that they're playing cover three and they're going to play some hard flats. Um, then the seams will become open. So what you'll see with this play here is I can throw this. I need to highball that. I apologize. Uh, but what's interesting about these wheels is they will actually pull the flat zones 
and then they will also pull the deep thirds uh, deep down the field. So what you'll see here is you have the quick throw flat. So if you want to try to freeform that out there, you can, but you can also freeform, uh, or not freeform, but high point these seam streaks. This is why you might want to consider actually keeping the seam streak um, on the left side. There's no reason you couldn't just you know, put him on a wheel, uh, but you see here, just highball these in the seams, and this becomes a very effective zone beater because let's say that they go user the tight end. Um, let's say they go user the tight end on the right side. We'll give you that example right here. So they're going to go user the tight end on the on the right side. Well, now you have this seam streak up the seam on the left side to be very effective as well. So you can attack zone in a lot of different ways just with this simple quick snap play. Um, I love plays that you can just snap with one hot rod or less, and you see how good that little quick throw wheel on both sides is. So we're able to attack man, we're able to attack cover three. Now we're in a situation where they're going to have to be in a cover four, which is something that people do like to run, something like this against this formation. But I will, I do want to quickly point out here, these high paws, um, you can actually catch them, specifically the one to the right is going to be fairly interesting, um, specifically against this defense. You know, so again here, if they're if they're doing something like that, I can throw these high balls. Um, the other thing that I can do, the other thing that I can do though, is going back to our base setup where we just slant this guy. What you're going to notice here is that these this slant will get into a really interesting spot, and you can kind of freeform that open again zone. Another thing that makes this so good is again this spot shake route and how it just kind of sits in the middle of the field. You'll see here it's there and then it'll kind of drag underneath and a lot of times that yellow will have drifted back so far or just be usered and run away that he won't guard that. So it's like the ultimate check down route um, in my opinion. And then like I said, you have the slant if they're in a true cover four. I will say cover four to me defends this the best out of anything, but there's a lot of things that cover four, um, you know, that tight offset can do against cover four. You know, one of the things that's underrated is these wheels um, kind of as basically aggressive catches down the sideline as you saw right there you see how the zone doesn't really react to it this is also one of the reasons why we're able to attack cover two so well uh, let me show you that real quick so if you if you get a cover two number one these seams but also if the flats are not hard flats we're going to be able to throw our flats so we're, for, we're funneling them into having to play hard flats, which is then going to open up the rest of the offense. We're going to be able to throw quarter routes at will. We're going to be able to have a lot of things open. So now they're going to have to play hard flats. But guess what? Our wheel routes are now going to pop them on both sides. And with tight, you know, because we're forcing the – we have such good reads against the blitz – we're able to then attack all these other coverages because we kind of know we're going to have pass protection. So if you want to learn the rest of the tight offset tight end offensive ebook, make sure you're in my Patreon. Um, it's only $10 to become a member and we have a ton of ebooks there in there already for you as well. Your membership includes all of our ebooks, all of our updates and any new ones. So you're not only going to get just the tight offset tight end book, but you're going to get access to everything. I think it's a tremendous value for you guys. You're going to get a ton of ebooks. I think so far we've released uh, 17 offensive and defensive ebooks this year with several updates as well, including a new bunch ebook we released earlier this week. So anyways, if you want to get access to all of that stuff, the link is in the description. It's only $10 to become a member, and I believe it's going to help you take your game to the next level. So if you want to uh, get better at Madden and you want to get the ebooks, make sure you join our Patreon. The link is down in the description below.